Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a membership website on Wix. After watching this tutorial, you'll learn how to offer different packages on your website or different tier pricing packages on your website. You will also learn how to offer subscriptions on your website and you will also learn how to create an online program or course on your website using Wix. So once you have signed up with Wix, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And all I want you to do is tap on create new site in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on create new site, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, if you are planning to create a subscription website, all you'll have to do is simply type in subscription right here. Then from there, you could select subscription box. Then let's tap on next. Once we have tapped on next, you are going to be redirected to a new page. And from here, you are going to add the name of your store. So I'll name this one test. Then I'm going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you will be able to add the plugins that you want on your website. So as I was saying earlier, by selecting pricing plans, you will be able to offer different tiers membership so you could do that and since this is a membership website i would also recommend that you tap on groups as this will enable you to create an active group on your website and you can scroll down and if you would like to offer bookings you can also do that and if you would like to add blog you can do that and if in the future you want to add videos you can tap on videos or if you'd like to add your Instagram feed, you can also do that. And since this is a membership website that we are making, more than likely you are going to be selling some form of training program. So we are going to select online programs. After doing that, you are going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. After you have tapped on next, what I want you to do is tap right where you see, begin with a template. By doing this, we'll be able to choose a template that we like, and you can see different template options right here. So all you have to do is scroll down until you see a template of your liking. So you can select any one of these templates right here, or if you would like to search for even more, you could simply tap on all templates and you could scroll down and choose a specific template, or you can change the category right here by simply hovering over business and services. So if you don't like that particular template, you can choose something else, as you can see right there. There are numerous templates that you can choose from when it comes on to Wix, as you can see here. So if you'd like to create one for a nonprofit, you can do that, as you can see there. Once you have found one that you like, let's say for this one, just for example sake, all you'll need to do is tap on edit, then give the AI a few seconds, and from there you'll now be able to edit your new website. Once it has loaded up, you will see a new feature that Wix has that allows you to simply type in some details about your website, and then the AI will be able to create site text if you want. But I won't be using that example for this tutorial. Then you can simply tap anywhere on the page and I want you to tap right where you see 50% in the top right hand corner. So we are going to change it to 100%. After doing that, all you'll need to do now, if you would like to make any changes, all you have to do is hover over the section that you would like to change. So let's say for example, this section right here. All you'll need to do is simply tap on the section that you would like to change. From there, if I would like to type something else right here, all I would have to do is simply select the text. Then I could type in anything I want, as you can see right there. And you can also change the font style and size if you want. And you can also add anything to your website quite easily. All you have to do is go over to the top left hand corner tap on the plus that says add elements then from there if you would like to add text you can do that all you have to do is tap and drag the text box 
if you would like to add an image you can also do that and if you would like to add video or a contact form you can do that from right in the left hand menu option right here after you have done all of that now and you have made all of the changes to how your website looks and by the way if you would like to add more pages all you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option tap on the third icon from the top left where you see pages and menu then you could tap on add page and you'll be able to add a new page after you have made all of the changes all you will need to do now is tap in the top left hand corner and you are going to tap on go to dashboard and once on the dashboard from here I'll be able to show you how to set up the different payment methods and so on that your website will not only look good but it will also be more interactive and you'll also be able to monetize it so you can see right here I'm now on my Wix dashboard all you'll need to do is pay attention to the left hand menu option so first if we would like to set up payment methods all you have to do is scroll down until you see billing and payments then from there you could set up payments so you could tap on payments then from here you can enable PayPal by simply tapping on manage payment methods so you can enable PayPal and you can enable numerous other payment options in fact you can enable Tilo pay you can scroll down and you can also set up manual payments if you want and you could tap on see more if you want to add even more payment options once you have done all of that if you want to also set up reoccur reoccurring payment all you have to do again is hover over billing and payments then from there you could select reoccurring invoices or you could select pay links for example if you were to select reoccurring invoices you would be able to set up reoccurring payments but to do this you would need to upgrade your plan from the free plan to the business premium plan as you can see right here but with Wix it is definitely worth the upgrade as you'll be able to add numerous features and to edit also the online programs all you have to do is hover over online programs then from there you could select programs and you will be able to add your first online program and to set up subscription but before doing that you can see you can create an online course you can create a fitness challenge you can also set up personal coaching you can set up nutrition plan or if you want to start from scratch you could simply tap on start fresh and then you can also set up your pricing plans by tapping on pricing plans so you can set up the different tier for memberships as you can see right there here is an example of how it looks so all you have to do is simply tap on start now and you can also set up subscriptions by tapping on subscriptions right here you can set that up also and that's it once you are finished setting up everything all you need to do now is simply tap on home in the top left hand corner then after you have tapped on home you are going to tap right where you see design site then after tapping on design site you'll tap in the top right hand corner to publish your website hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe